And uh, Representative Michelle Bachman is here. Good evening. Um, and before we get to uh, the president's speech tonight, since you are on the House Intel Committee, I'm curious if there's anything you can add to the uh, rather distressing news tonight that there is a uh, credible threat unconfirmed. Well, of course, it's very serious. And one thing I will say is that the intelligence community is on this. I think the American people should feel confident that their government is doing everything they can to keep them safe. And this is a very bipartisan issue. There is one issue that I think is excels all the rest, and that's keeping the American people safe. Both Democrats and Republicans are on the same page. We want the people safe, and the people who need to be doing their job are. You know, there's a, a conflict between determining, like, how do you tell the American people vigilant and help and how do you not scare them to death and how do you not scare them to death so the next time when you do have information to tell them when they should be on alert they don't think we already heard that. Well, you're right. You don't want to be crying wolf when there's nothing going on, but clearly something is going on. And so I think it's important, again, for people to be smart, to be wise. If you see something, you should say something. So use your head in these situations and keep alert. All right. Uh, the president's speech tonight, what do you think? I, mean, I can guess, but go ahead. Tell me. Well, it wasn't a plan. It was a political speech. And I think the, the, my bottom line is, so what's new about what we heard? The president gave no new ideas. And I think the, the real problem is that, again, this was political. And I'm a business person. I'm a former federal tax lawyer. What we needed is what works in the economy. We didn't have an economic speech. We had a political speech. And we need to do what works because, quite simply, uh, to, to extend payroll uh, tax deductions, uh, there is no credible supporting evidence that shows that that created any new jobs. Not only that, extending the unemployment benefits. If you look at the president's own new economic advisor, he said in two different studies that the longer you keep people on unemployment, the less likely it is they're going to find a job. That doesn't work. More stimulus? Do we really need some of stimulus? We passed a trillion dollars in stimulus. Will billions more do the job? There was nothing new here. I suppose the one sort of, if you look for the sort of the silver lining, I think it sort of puts everybody's feet to the fire that, you know, that, you know, something's got to be done. Whether you're a Republican, I mean, it has because, to be because done. you know what? I don't, not this. I, I, don't, I don't think a lot he, he kept saying, hurry, hurry, hurry. How many times did he say, pass the plan? Plan. I well, hope you know Congress what? Every time he said, this every plan. time he said, pass the plan, I thought, why did you, why didn't you give us the plan before he we went on vacation? Number one, well, of course. and number two, yeah, I right. thought, if you really do have a plan, we need the whole plan, and why are you holding off eleven well, there still days? Is because no plan. Well, I mean, I mean, look, I'm with you on that. I said, if he has a plan. We need to see yeah. it and we need to evaluate. This sort of drip, 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 drip does not leave me with a sense that there is a plan, whether it's a good plan or a bad plan. Well, that's right. And this was a significant uh, event tonight. You don't call in 535 members of Congress and have a joint session where the president gives a speech to the nation and not have something more concrete. I think what's very unfortunate in all of this, and I think what the coming days will show, is that the people who are the job creators, I'm one of them, a job creator in our own small business this is this doesn't tell a job creator that we'll see certainty this, this doesn't tell a job creator that the return on their investment is bound to be safe that's what's really detrimental in all this I'm not talking about political points I could care less about political points what I'm concerned about are the 14 million people as my Democrat colleagues are as well the reality is this speech will impress no one who has an ability to be able to bring the economy back because the real problem in all of this is that Washington, D.C. will never solve the economy. It's Main Street that solves it. Washington just messes it up and gets well, in the yeah, way. Well, a couple of things. Numbers, it's not just 14 million. It's, it's the 8, point, 8 million plus who are unemployed, so you add that yeah. to it, and then the, the two, pl two million plus who have just given up. So it's really about 25 million people that we're talking about who are in desperate situation. But what I ask Congress managers is that, you know, there's all, I mean, the big problem is we don't have the money. I mean, that's a big problem. But I'll tell you where the money is. Well, there's, there's one I'll point. tell you where it is. There's, it's the waste. There, I mean, I'll tell you. Okay, that's, I mean, that's, every candidate, there, that everyone is runs there on is waste. waste. Sure. Everyone runs on waste. The president said he was going to go line by line. I went through his speeches last week. Line by line, when he's running for president, he's going to go through the budget and make sure we get rid of all the programs we don't have. There's billions and billions. We, there's so much waste we send over to the wars or whatever. Waste. And, and it's like it's astounding to me that we're worried about where money is is that we never sort of clean up our you, internal act. You won't find an ounce of disagreement with me. I think that we should have a budget and just go ahead and implement all of these items. If the government has already found it, let's do it. But Greta, if you want money, 
There's $1.2 trillion that have America, American companies have already earned. If we have a 0% what's called a repatriation tax, overnight we'll see $1.2 trillion that the taxpayers aren't supplying, that they don't have to pay back, that we don't have to borrow from China. Overnight we can wash $1.2 trillion. Money? Yes, the but that comes back. I guess it goes through the economy. It, gets, it goes through the economy. Yeah, it's not coming back into the to the corporate here's, till. Here's, I mean, here's the thing. You have a solution coming in the private sector, and it's permanent. Have a 0% repatriation tax through December 31st and make it permanently 5% thereafter. You're continually bringing infusions of capital. And if you lower the corporate tax rate, you'll bring those go. American companies back, too. Congresswoman, thank you very much. Thank you, Greta. Straight ahead, 4.30.